What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Lifestyle of Gold TV. It's your girl, Candace Rose. Uh, sorry for the wait. Um, like I said in my live stream, if I have time or if I successfully make time to uh, make videos like this for you guys, then I will. If not, then you'll get two live streams that week. And as you can see, I've made time. So hopefully this new schedule works out and we can get back underway with our content. So we are here today to talk about World Domination. Nah, but um, kinda. So today this is for my filmmakers. We're gonna be talking about contracts. Now, contracts are super important for you know legal purposes, obviously. Um, it's really important for you as a filmmaker to protect yourself protect your entity if you have an LLC, which I feel like you should, and protect your equipment. Um, also, it protects the clients as well, uh, every, so everybody's comfortable and you can get underway with your work. And, you know, everything runs smoothly on your shoot. Well, as smooth as possible, because, you know, things happen. But, um, yeah, in the event that something happens, you have a contract in place, you know exactly what to do. Um, so we're, today we're going to be talking about what's in my contract, the Views of Gold Entertainment contract. Um, this is a contract that I created myself uh, via Law Depot. Now it wasn't completely by myself and I do advise that you do see um, a lawyer to uh, verify your contract. I'm not a specialist or any type of uh, professional in the law realm. So I do advise that you take this contract or whatever you do and take it to a lawyer to be verified. But we're going to be talking about what's in my contract specifically. So um, I'm probably going to be showing the contract in one of these corners as I read it. And yeah, so let me know if you guys have anything different. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video and if you want to see more content like this. All right, so first things first, we're going to do the overview of this contract. It's about five pages. I also have a, a little uh, addendum as well, that uh, a tiny little thing for them to sign, just clarifying what exactly it is that they're booking and uh, what that entails. That is a different piece of paper that I'll go over later if you guys want, um, or I could do a part two and go over it then just to keep this uh, as concise as possible. So the first section is just for you to put the date and uh, for you to put your business name and city that you are in or that your LLC is in, I should say. And also uh, on the left hand side is the client. So you would put the client's LLC, the client's name, however, you know, what have you. Um, right under that is the background, which you would just verify that uh, you are a qualified individual and you have experience and you can deliver what they, what it is they're asking for. So there's that, um, right under that services provided, um, you would go and make the edit and list the services that you provide. So on my contract, I have visual uh, production, photography and editing, um, as well as, you know, videography. Uh, I also have professional color correction and cinematography and production direction of motion picture project. So that's pretty broad scope, but I feel like well, I felt like when I made it that it did cover everything that I may need, um, you know, or I may need to do or whatever on a job. So uh, anything that fits into these categories is what I would be hired to do. If it's something outside of this, what this is listed, um, then obviously I would either need a new contract or I would have to hire a third person. That is how I conduct things. Um, I feel like it's the safest way. That way you don't put too much on your own plate and as well as it just gives a good clear cut um, list of services to your, um, to your clients so they know exactly what to um, expect from you. You don't want to not have anything specifically said and then they ask for something and say, well, I thought that's what you did because my last videographer did that. and you know, you're not their last videographer, so you would want to make that distinction very clear. Uh, compensation. So this is when you're going to itemize exactly how much you're charging for each 
um, service. Now, that's what I like to do. I like to say, so let's say you're charging $500 or $1,000 or whatever. You, like, I like to itemize each thing. So, like, if I'm charging uh, $300 for editing, okay, I'm going to write your editing fee is $300. Transportation, transportation fee for your gas or your Uber or whatever, your rental car is X amount for that day. Um, services to shoot is X amount for that day. I, okay, I have to hire an audio guy. That's X amount. Okay, they, you know, the client wants behind the scenes footage. That's an extra charge of X amount so that they can do all the math. They can see it all itemized and, you know, obviously you send them an invoice with it itemized as well. Um, that's also very helpful and it's a very good uh, way to do that. I can also do another video with you guys. Um, if you want, you would have to leave comments in the description about invoices and what I use to do my invoices. But yeah, this is where I like to put how much I'm charging, the price, um, and just itemize each thing so that it's in more than one place why I'm charging them that amount. Um, so, right. After that, the, the number eight in compensation is talked about the invoices. Oh, oh my gosh, my, my tea. The, the water for my tea is boiling. One sec. Um, so now we're talking about um, reimbursement. The contractor will be reimbursed from time to time for, res for reasonable and necessary expenses incurred by the contractor in connection with the providing with providing the services. So, um, yeah, it's basically saying that. Whatever money I have to shell out to get your job done, the client has to well, the client has to reimburse whatever money I have to shell out. So if I have to front money for an Uber or front money for a gas or front money for a rental car, that will be charged. Uh, it will be billed to the client and they will have to either pay me back or prepay. All expenses should be pre-approved with your client. Don't just do things without telling them and then expecting them to pay for it. Um, a lot of times, it's better to have a conversation with someone about why they need to pay for something than it is about like trying to, I don't know. I'm not saying you're trying to scam them, but it could come off a little scammy when you start asking for more money and they don't understand why. So yeah, it's best to have that conversation before you start uh, doing these things. So that everybody's in agreement and everybody's on the same page. Notice for uh, communication between you and the client. So um, you would put yours for your business or your personal name and address and phone number. Just a way to contact you. And um, the client would do so as well. So this is what I wanted to get to is uh, the additional clauses. So this is what... Um, what sets mine apart from anybody else's a lot of people's um kind of contracts especially if you use this uh, website would be kind of very similar but the additional clauses is what sets you apart so um now here's what i get into what I get into is uh, if the video shoot takes longer than agreed upon time due to fault of the client or their guests, the client will be charged an additional fee, you know, my hourly fee past the time due. Now, what I like to do is I like to be, you know, uh, I, I do things with grace. So sometimes I'll give them an extra 30 minutes if I had to, you know, if, if I had to take some of the time to kind of set up I, i'll give them that that time back or whatever the case may be if something went wrong then i'll give them the time back but um yeah other than that i charge an hourly rate on top of what they've already paid me because you know it's just not fair for me to have to stay longer and you've only booked me for a certain amount which happens with events um and you just want to stay on top of the time it actually keeps everybody on point and if you're looking to grow bigger everything's based on time the studio uh you know how much time you have in the day to get the shot uh 
you're using daylight, everything runs on time, dude. So you're gonna have to, and ladies. So you're gonna have to, you know, keep it together. Um, if a client would like to reschedule, an additional fee will be owed. Uh, if the client is unable to pay 50% of the agreed upon amount, then the reservation date is no. So, for my deposit, my deposit is half the fee. So, in order for you to book a date, I charge a deposit. Half up front, half, you know, the date is you. And, um... I booked the rescheduling fee because theoretically I took that whole day off um, and didn't book anything else or didn't have anything else really going on for myself or anybody else because I was supposed to shoot with the client. So that is why I book a rescheduling fee because this is a day I could have got paid for something else and now I have to block on another day um, just to do this shoot. So. Um, uh, yeah, uh, the video shoot starts in one location and the client would like to go to multiple locations Then there's a fee that fee is there because I know it sounds like a lot of fees and a lot of like grubby stuff But you have to protect your assets to protect yourself So if I go from if we're supposed to shoot in point a and you want to go to point B C and D and then my stuff gets broken between C and D I didn't plan for that in my contract so now, if especially if we didn't plan for my transportation fees. So now, if I didn't know that you wanted to go to other places or but we have time to, then now I have to charge um, for that because now I have to pack up all my stuff and move. Or even if I didn't know, I have to pack up all my stuff and move. So that's um <laughs> that's where that's coming from. I just need, you know... I need at least you know some money to get there that sort of thing so that's where that is at the end you will write the date in which the contract was signed as well as the client will print and then have their signature you will sign above your well I will sign above my printed company name and then you know so Thanks, you guys, for sticking around. I hope this is very helpful for you as a filmmaker or anybody who is a creative looking to start using contracts to more verify their business and take it another step up. Um, please like the video if you like the content. Comment below if you want to see a part two. And don't forget to subscribe for more content.